I made a video covering monkeypox a few months ago during the early stages of the outbreak. However, much has changed since then. The number of cases has continued to increase beyond what many had anticipated, and the virus shows little sign of slowing down. Since that first video was released, a ton of new information and research has come out regarding the 2022 outbreak. Here's everything you need to know about monkeypox as of August 2022. What's going on, guys? For those of you who are new here, my name is Kevin Jabal, physician entrepreneur based in Las Vegas. This video is for information purposes only. This is not medical advice and no doctor-patient relationship is formed. Consult your physician or medical professional for your health and safety. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with the monkeypox situation, I'll give you the spark note summary to catch you up to speed. Monkeypox is a disease caused by infection with the monkeypox virus. This virus belongs to the orthopox family of viruses, which include smallpox, vaccinia, and cowpox. Much like other viral illnesses, the first one to three days of illness are characterized by fever, chills, fatigue, headache, muscle aches, and swollen lymph nodes. After these first few days, however, infected individuals will start developing a rash that progresses from small flat lesions to large fluid-filled blisters. Over the span of the next few weeks, these blisters will drain, scab over, and eventually fall off. The disease is usually self-limiting, meaning that it usually goes away on its own and generally lasts anywhere from two to four weeks before subsiding. That being said, some individuals experience much more severe symptoms and develop more dangerous issues such as secondary infection, sepsis, and pneumonia, to name a few. Monkeypox was first discovered in the 1950s in colonies of research monkeys, hence the name monkeypox. The first human case was reported in 1970 in Africa, and the disease has remained largely endemic to the regions of Central Africa since then. Historically, monkeypox has been transmitted through contact with infected animals, with rodents being the most common vector for the disease. Human-to-human -human transmission was reported, however, it was uncommon and largely limited to those in close contact with infected individuals, and it would fizzle out quickly. That being said, this is not the pattern we are seeing in 2022. Instead, the virus is primarily being passed from human to human, and we're seeing much higher rates of transmission than we have in the past. Back in May of 2022, when I made my first video covering monkeypox, there were just over 100 reported cases spread out over 16 different countries. As of August 2022, however, there are now approximately 25,000 cases globally and nearly 6,000 cases in the US, according to the CDC. Despite the rapid increase in the number of cases, most individuals who contract the disease only experience mild symptoms. At the time of this recording, there have been only 10 deaths reported. Out of those 10 deaths, Six occurred in Nigeria and Ghana, where the disease has been largely endemic since the 1970s. Two occurred in Spain, which is home to Europe's largest outbreak. One occurred in Brazil, and one occurred in India, where the individual was believed to have contracted the virus while abroad. In response to the rapid increases in the number of cases, the World Health Organization has declared monkeypox a global health emergency and is calling for an international response to increase funding and collaboration on sharing vaccines and treatment. Given the rising number of cases in the US, three states have also declared a state of emergency over the monkeypox outbreak, namely California, Illinois, and New York. These three states, which are home to the three largest cities in the country, currently account for 47% of all confirmed monkeypox infections in the US. So what has changed? Why are we seeing such a rapid increase in the number of cases now? The biggest concern is that the virus has changed so that it is more easily transmitted by humans. In my previous video, I discussed mutation rates for DNA viruses, such as monkeypox, and explained why these viruses are generally very slow to mutate. At that time, research regarding the genome of monkeypox was limited, and preliminary research had shown no unusual mutations. That being said, new research has come out since then that may suggest otherwise. According to an article published on May 30th, 2022 by the University of Edinburgh, Genomic sequencing of the 2022 monkeypox virus compared to previous samples from 1971 and 2017 revealed significantly more mutations than expected. Previous research suggests that earlier strains of monkeypox had a mutation rate of about one to two nucleotide changes per year. With the newer 2022 strain, however, Researchers at Edinburgh identified a total of 47 nucleotide substitutions compared to samples from just three to four years ago. And that's nearly eight times the number of mutations we would expect to see during this time frame. Although monkeypox is a DNA virus that shouldn't mutate with such high frequency, 42 out of those 47 nucleotide substitutions that were identified appear to follow a pattern consistent with a particular family of proteins used by our immune system. In essence, the researchers suspect that these mutations are essentially battle scars left in the genome of the virus that were acquired while fighting the host's immune system. It's unclear whether these mutations confer some sort of advantage to the virus, such as increased transmissibility. However, it does appear that the virus has changed much more quickly than previously thought. This rapid increase in the mutation rate between 2017 and 2022 
also suggests that these changes are the result of sustained human transmission, meaning that this current outbreak may not be as out of the blue as experts initially were thinking. But how could we have known about this? Well, according to an article published by The Atlantic, the warning signs were there. We just chose to ignore them. According to the article, doctors in Nigeria were dealing with an unusual cluster of monkeypox cases five years ago, similar to the ones that we are seeing today. Between 1978 and 2017, there were no reported cases of monkeypox in Nigeria. The disease was largely contained to Central Africa, whereas Nigeria is far to the west. In 2017, however, Nigeria identified their first case of monkeypox in nearly 40 years. Over the next five years, between 2017 and 2022, there would be an additional 500 confirmed monkeypox cases in Nigeria. What was particularly odd about these cases is that they followed an atypical pattern of transmission. First of all, transmission seemed to be occurring primarily through human to human contact, whereas previously it was mostly animal to human. In addition, most of the patients were men, and many had had genital lesions, which suggested sexual transmission. Fast forward to today, and this is the same pattern we are seeing across the globe. Although current research suggests that monkeypox is not sexually transmitted, it's thought to occur through close physical contact with an infected individual, which occurs during intercourse. In addition, according to the WHO, approximately 99% of monkeypox cases as of June 2022 were reported in men, most of whom self-identified as men who have sex with other men. As such, many feel that we missed clear warning signs of a monkeypox outbreak by ignoring the situation in Nigeria. Only now that we're seeing cases outside of Africa in more wealthy countries are we seeing a shift in attention. Had attention been brought to this earlier, research could have been done to help prevent the spread of monkeypox. As always though, hindsight is 2020. Although it's important for world health leaders to understand the warning signs and how something like this could have been avoided, at the individual level, our focus is much better spent on what we can do now instead of what should have been done previously. So let's talk about how you can protect yourself from monkeypox. Although monkeypox is largely contained to men at this time, more specifically men who have sex with men, that doesn't mean you can't get it if you aren't in this population. Monkeypox is spread through close skin to skin contact with infected individuals or contact with fomites. Fomites are items that can carry infection like clothes, towels, bedding, and eating utensils. Anyone can become infected with monkeypox if they are exposed to the virus. That being said, if you are in a high-risk population, you should take extra precautions to avoid becoming infected. Avoid close skin-to-skin -skin contact with people who have had a rash that looks like monkeypox, as well as objects and materials that a person with monkeypox has used. In addition, you should wash your hands often with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, especially before eating or touching your face and after you use the bathroom. The CDC also recommends that individuals who are at high risk for exposure get vaccinated. This includes individuals at high risk for a recent exposure to monkeypox, as well as clinical laboratory personnel and research lab workers who directly handle virus samples or animals contaminated with orthopox viruses. As I mentioned in my previous video, because the monkeypox virus is in the same family of viruses as smallpox, we already have effective vaccines that protect against it. According to the CDC, past data from Africa suggests that the smallpox vaccine is at least 85% effective in preventing monkeypox. Vaccination within four days of an exposure may help prevent the onset of monkeypox, and vaccination within four to 14 days of an exposure may reduce the severity and duration of the disease. There are currently two types of vaccines available, ACAM2000 and Genios. ACAM2000 is a second generation smallpox vaccine that uses live vaccinia virus. This virus is able to replicate within the body. For this reason, a lesion will develop at the site of injection after a successful inoculation. This is known as a take. It should be noted that because this vaccine uses a live virus capable of replicating, there is a small chance of adverse effects compared to killed or inactivated vaccines that have the antigens to stimulate an immune response but no capacity to replicate. As such, it should not be used in patients who are pregnant, have a weakened immune system, or have certain skin conditions. Genios is a newer vaccine that uses a live attenuated virus, which is a weakened virus with lower risk of adverse effects, yet similar efficacy to ACAM2000. ACAM2000 is given in a single dose, whereas Genios vaccine is delivered in two doses 28 days apart. In addition to vaccination, the antiviral medication Tecoviramat, also known as TPOX, has been approved for use in patients with severe disease or who are at high risk for severe disease. According to the CDC, this currently includes patients experiencing hemorrhagic disease, sepsis, encephalitis, or other conditions requiring hospitalization, as well as patients who are immunocompromised, pregnant, have history of certain skin conditions, or have infection involving high-risk areas such as the eyes, mouth, and other anatomical regions. Although the growing number of cases is alarming, and measures should be taken at a national and global level to help mitigate its spread, 
We do have a variety of tools at our disposal to help treat monkeypox and control its spread. If you're experiencing symptoms that are concerning for monkeypox, including fever, headache, muscle aches, swollen lymph nodes, respiratory symptoms, and especially a painful or itchy rash that looks like pimples or blisters, the latest recommendations from the CDC as of August 1st, 2022, are to isolate at home and stay away from others unless you are experiencing an emergency or need to see a healthcare provider. If you do have to leave the home, it is recommended that you cover the lesions, wear a well-fitting mask, and avoid taking public transportation to further prevent the spread of the disease. And that is everything you need to know about monkeypox as of August, 2022. As the monkeypox situation continues to unfold, there will undoubtedly be new developments and new research that comes out. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know with a comment below Below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my previous video covering monkeypox or this other video. Much love, and I'll see you guys there.